This video, we will look at this example about how to using the keyword to identify if the email is a spam or ham. So first of all, I want to let you know, spam and ham, they are complement events. So the ham means uh, the email that is not the spam. So in this video, and uh, the technique we are using actually is called the Bing thing theory, which is I emphasized during the class. And I also showing you two different scenarios when the uh, uh, the A will have two sub event or three sub event. So for this specific question is to discuss when A only have two sub events. So let's read the question together. So when you work on the probability question, there is very important skill is reading the case efficiently and identify the probabilities. So that's the number one thing we were training. And so in this uh, this question, we're only looking at the uh, if shipping is included in your email, should we really consider it as a spam or ham? So first, the five most common words appearing in spam email are shipping, today, here, available, and fingertips. And many spam filters separate the spam from ham through application of the Bainthorn theory. And suppose that for one email account, one in every ten message is spam, and the proportion of the spam messages that have the five most common words in spam email are given below. Shipping, 0.051. Today, 0.045. Here, 0.034. Available, 0.014. Fingertips, 0.014. And also suppose that the proportions of the hand message that have those words are shipping, 0.0015. Uh, today, 0 0.0022, here, 0 0.0022, and available, 0 0.0041, and the fingertips, 0 0.0011. So, after you're reading this whole case, actually, you should be able to see 12. You should be able to identify 12 probabilities. So, you might say, I can't find 10, but I cannot find 12. So, make sure you read the case carefully again. So, one thing you have to know that after you're reading the case, there is a hidden probably is here. So one in every 10 message is a spam. So what does this mean? So this means the chance for us to have the spam is 1 over 10, which is 10%. And as I just discussed, the spam and the ham, they are complement events. So in the class we know for the complement event, the probability A equal to 1 minus the probability of A's complement event. So in other words, the probability of the ham equal to 1 minus 1 over 10, which gives you 0.9. So you have 90% chance to have the email as a ham. So let's put down all the information we have. So the first information is the probability for us to have the ham is equal to 0.9. And the probability for us to have the spam, it is 10%. So now let's read more. And obviously you can see shipping, the probability for shipping showing up in email is 0 0.051. And we see here again, the probability of shipping is 0 0.0015. So why are they showing us two probability related to shipping? So what are they really means? So that's why we need to read the question again and make sure you understand what these two probability means. So the first one is under this sentence. So the proportion of the spam message that have the five most common words in spam email are given below. Shipping, and you have a chance 0 0.051. So this means you only look at the spam email. And uh, among those spam email, you have 0 0.051 chance to find a shipping. So in which were, if you're looking at a thousand spam email, and you will find 51 of them has shipping in it. And then you look at the second, the probably corresponding relative to shipping, 0 0.0015, but this one is under this sentence. So the proportion of the hand message that have these words are 0 0.0015. Shipping is 0 0.015. So what this means is, if you're looking at a bunch of ham message, and then you will find uh, uh, the shipping with the probability 0 0.0015. So in other words, if you look at a, a thousand ham message, and you will find only 15 of them have this word called the shipping. So you can see both probability is different, although they all relate to shipping. So one is conditional on you're looking at the spam email, 
and one is conditional on you are looking at the hand message. So now we can very easily identify what's the meaning of these two probabilities. So let's write it down. So the first one we see is called the probability of shipping given it is a spam which is 0 0.051 and the second probability we identify is shipping given it is a ham and which is 0 0.00 uh, 0.0015. So now we have the full probability identified, and you all you should be very easily to identify what's the meaning for this one today. 0 0.045. That's given it is a spam. The chance you find today is 0 0.045, and this one is given it is a ham. The chance you find that the keyword today is 0 0.022. So we will not try to list all the probability because uh, the four we listed here already allow us to figure out the question under this uh, under in the under the question number three. So look at a question: If a message include the word shipping, what is the probability the message is a spam? So can you answer it directly? The answer is no, because if you look at all the probability you have here, none of them can directly answer the question given it is a shipping included and what's the chance it is going to be a spam. So I write down what we are looking for. So what we are looking for in this question is given you see shipping in the email, we try to identify what's the chance it is going to be a spam. So what the chance is going to be a spam. So actually it's pretty straightforward as I mentioned in the class. So in this case, you can use the Bainton theory because the two reasons. So the first reason is before we are knowing the email have shipping, we already have the knowing the probability to have the spam to have the ham. So we have 10% chance to have the spam and 90% chance to have the ham. And so after we know, we do see the word shipping showing up in the email, we try to update our probability for spam. So given the new information come in, which is shipping. So what's the chance going to be uh, the email going to be a spam? So this is indicator to let you know you should use Bainton theory because you have a new information come in. So conditional on this new information, how you going to adjust your probability? So the probability we see here, we'll consider as the prior probability. And the probability we see here will be our posterior probability. So to connect with our uh, prior probability with our posterior probability, you need to use in the Bayesian theory. So this is one indicator uh, to indicate you should use the Bayesian theory. Uh, and the second indicator is to look at the relationship between these two probabilities. So between these two probability, so what you can find is we are actually flip the condition. So this one, the condition on spam, we're looking for the probability for shipping, and this one we are conditional on shipping. We're looking for the probability for spam. So this will be your second indicator to indicate if you're using the Bayesian theory. So now let's review how the Bayesian theory look like. So in the class, I'm showing you that uh, uh, for the Bayesian theory, if for A only have two sub events, especially for this case, we only have two sub events. So the A1 will be the ham, and A2 will be the spam. The reason there are two sub event is because if you add the two probability together, you get a one. So you should be able to identify these two events. They are complement to each other, and so this will be my two sub event. So, uh, so since we define, uh, try to link this event, uh, this case with the formula we see on the slides in the textbook. So the spam will be a two, and the keyword shipping here will be the event B. So in the class we learn. In order to find the probability A given B, what we need to do is first create our numerator, the probability of A2 times the probability of uh, B given A2, and then divide by, we repeat, A2 times the probability of the B given A2 plus the probability of the A1 
So you will only have two sub events, and so there will be a one is another one, a one probably a one times the probability B given a one. So this will be the formula we are learning from the class, and using this formula, and we only need to look at okay, what's the probability for a two? We just define a two will be our probability span, so we know it's point one, and then we look at the, what's the probability for B given a two. So B is the uh, event shipping, and the given a two given is a, uh, is a span. So if we look at actually the probability we already have here, given it's a spam, the probability for having the shipping, the keyword will be 0 0.051. So this is the second probability you use here. And so the denominator, we repeat whatever we have in the numerator, and then plus the probability of the A1. So probability A1 is the probability of the hand, so which is 90%, and the times the probability B given A2, uh, A1, sorry, here should be A1. So here should be Here will be a one. So B given a one, which means given the shipping is uh, given, uh, it is a him. So what's the chance you have shipping? So if you look at the, the probability we already have, and then you will be able to very easily identify. So it is 0 0.0015. So we actually have all the probability. So we just need to put everything together. So the probability given shipping show up, and we are looking for. It is a spam, and it will equal to the probability of shipping times, uh, sorry, so we are looking for the probability of spam times the probability of Given it is a spam, and what's the chance you have a shipping? So this will be my numerator, and for my denominator, as I mentioned, you will repeat whatever you have in your numerator. So spam times the probability of shipping given spam plus the probability of him times the probability of shipping given him. So now we plug in all the probability we have. So this equal to the probability to have the spam is 0 0.1 times the probability shipping given span, probably shipping given span is 0 0.051. So 0 0.051 Zero five one, and then we repeat my numerator, and the plus the probability of him, which is point nine times the probability shipping given him. So probability shipping given him is point zero zero one five. Point zero. So if you are using the calculator to do the final calculation, you will find the chance. After you finding shipping your keyword, and then the chance it's gonna be a, a spam will be equal to 0 0.7907. So this is the chance for you to identify it gonna be a, a spam. And so next we will move on the next uh, question. So this answer the question number A. So question number B: If a message includes the word shipping, so what is probably the message gonna be a ham? So very similar idea, and we are using the Bayesian theory. So this time we are looking for the probability given we saw it's having shipping in the keyword. So what's the chance it's gonna be a ham? So to answer this question, and we are using the Bayesian theory, and hopefully you already know how to do it. So first we flip my condition. And the probability times the another probability will be my numerator. So how we flip condition? So in order to flip the condition, uh, so here will be given it is him, and the probability of shipping, and the times the probability of the condition. So the probability of him. So this will be my numerator, and my denominator. If you look at my denominator, 
and which actually going to be the exactly the same one as you are calculating question number A. So the probability of the span times the probability of shipping given span plus the probability of ham times the probability of shipping given ham. So we are using the same denominator. So the only change will be numerator. So numerator change into the probability of ham times the probability of shipping given ham. So the denominator will be the same. So it would be the probability of uh, spam times the probability of uh, shipping given spam plus the probability of a uh, ham times the probability of uh, shipping given ham. And then we plug in the value. So the numerator will be the only one changed. So the chance for him is 0.9. And the probability for shipping given him, so shipping given him, which is here, 0 0.0015. 0 0.0015. And then we repeat the same denominator we use for question number A. So point. 1 times point zero, point zero 0.051 and the plus point 0.9 times point zero zero one five, and then we are doing the calculation you should get point two zero nine three. so this is the answer given you see the shipping and what's the chance it's going to be a ham so now we look at question number C. They ask, should the message that include the word shipping be flagged as a spam? So now if you look at this true probability, so the question number A, you're calculating given the shipping should not be in the email, the chance could be the uh, spam is 79.7%. It's pretty high, much higher than it could be a ham, only 20.93%. So the answer for question number C will be yes. It should be flagged as a spam. It should be flagged as a spam.